Hi, my name is Janice. I teach science here in Clearwater, Florida. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you would calculate the number of molecules from moles of something like carbon dioxide. So these are two different ways that we measure compounds, chemical compounds. Carbon dioxide would be an example of that. So a molecule of carbon dioxide would literally be one carbon atom binded to two oxygen atoms. Now, atoms are really, really, really tiny, so molecules are very small. So small, in fact, that they're really hard to measure by themselves. And so typically, in a laboratory situation, we actually measure atoms in moles. A moles is a really big amount of molecules. In fact, one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. We call this number Avogadro's number. So anytime you want to figure out the number of molecules you have, what you do is you take the number of moles. So let's say that I have three moles. I would multiply that by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I would get somewhere in the neighborhood, excuse me, of 18 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So that would mean I would have 18 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon and twice that much of oxygen. And that is how you calculate the number of moles, or excuse me, the number of molecules from moles of carbon dioxide. I'm Janice. Have a great day.